and like educate me on why I was feeling the way I was feeling and like what is anxiety what causes it like teach me everything so that I can learn how to get through this on my own without having to be on medication so I go to this lady and it's like so moody in the room it's like such a vibe she she's like just the coolest woman ever she's so welcoming she's like come on in you know it wasn't like a cold office like fucking principal's office type of vibe it wasn't like that at all it was like it was like if you were going into a bedroom like she had okay not a bedroom but like it felt like a home office type of thing and so i go in there the she has like a lamp it's not like bright lights or anything it's just very moody very comfortable and i was nervous obviously it was my first time talking to her and um so we sit down um she kind of asks me just a few questions right off the bat she kind of introduces herself and like what she does obviously um and i start talking to her just about some things that i've gone through some things that i'm dealing with currently and she literally gives me like which sounds dumb but like i appreciate it so much because of like what I was going in there for. So she gave me a packet and it was like four or five pages. It wasn't anything crazy. And she was like, this is like the educational side of everything that you're going through. So she was like, what you're gonna do is you're gonna read um, like this list of different things. When you come back next week, we're gonna talk about this and you're gonna tell me which one like you relate to the most. So it was, it was different like different like mental things that you can deal with basically um so like anxiety depression um like bipolar disorder um just like a bunch of different things and so she basically wanted me to list out like symptoms that I was feeling and like different things that I was dealing with mentally and there was um like paragraphs and passages about each one and like why your brain does what it does and like certain things that can trigger each one of these things and like just basically narrowing down like what I was going through and so I was like okay this is perfect like this is exactly what I wanted because I wanted to try and figure out what was going on so basically what I'm trying to say is therapy is so important like therapy is so so important and another thing i'm going to say is i know therapy can be expensive trust me i understand um there can be different types of therapy that you can do no you don't have to feel bad i promise no don't feel bad at all um it is something that is a little nerve-wracking you know like i said i feel like you do have to find that like match that works with you because not every therapist is going to work for you and that has to be something that maybe not right now but maybe at some point in your life you'll be ready to be open to like trying different therapists and on your first appointment you don't even necessarily have to spill everything that you're going through if you don't feel comfortable like just talking to them kind of getting a feel for how they're like taking in the information how if they're making eye contact with you if they're making you feel comfortable how the mood is in the room you know and so I feel like it's important to look for all of that before like committing to a therapist because obviously different people work for different people and there's therapists for certain things that you're going through in your life you know like there's marriage therapists there's people that have gone through divorce or people that are grieving or people that have anxiety or people that have like terminal illnesses like there's so many so many different things um and so many different therapists that specialize in different things that you can like gravitate towards that'll work better for you um 
But like I was saying too, there's different forms of therapy that you can do. Like you don't necessarily have to go and talk to somebody that is professional. Like does it help? Yes. But I think as long as you are talking to somebody in your life, I think it's important. Whether it's a friend or a family member or a teacher or a coach or somebody that like loves you and somebody that is willing to sit down with you and be there for you you know somebody that you can vent to or even like getting a journal like write write your thoughts write what's like going through your head and what's what you're dealing with it's so i feel like a lot of people say it sounds dumb but it's so helpful i promise you getting your thoughts down on paper is like the smartest thing that you can do and the most helpful thing that you can do i promise you um but wow i totally went on a tangent that guy's probably not even in here anymore (laughs) um basically back to my original question (laughs) um i don't even know how we started this oh it was about men Basically, if you're a man in here, it's okay to feel your emotions and it's okay to go to therapy. And that's for everybody. That's for men, women, whatever you claim to be, whatever you go by, that is totally okay. And mental health is so important. It is so, so important. I think everybody should go to therapy. Whether you're going through something or not, I think it's so helpful. bad when you don't have anyone I love you Haley it is past my bedtime I was gonna go to bed 15 minutes ago I knew this was gonna happen when I said this is my last question I'm gonna answer yeah I think he left he probably went to bed but that's okay um Ian what I will say What I will say about that is I think it's important to go to therapy whether you're going through something big or small and that could be like anything in your day like like I said earlier I feel like people think like if you're going through these like really really hard things in your life like that's when you go to therapy and that's fine like that's true because therapy helps people that are going through like really really tragic things in their life they help them process that and get through that hello dylan but i think too like when i was going to therapy and i was dealing with like bigger things like that's when i started going to therapy was when i was like i don't know how to manage my emotions like i need help i am having really bad anxiety it's like getting to the point to where i can't leave the house like i need help and so that's when i went And then once I started getting a hold of my anxiety and understanding it and knowing how to like, okay, I know that triggers that. I know that triggers this. Now I know how to like, now I know how to manage it. And now I know how to like tell when it's coming on and how to stop it and how to like calm myself down and tell myself like, you're fine. It's going to be just fine. Take a few deep breaths. You're going to be okay. Once I learned how to do that, I feel like a lot of people think like, oh, well, once you figure out the problem, then you like you don't have to go to therapy anymore. But I think it's important to keep going because then you start building a relationship with this person, but they're a professional as well. So every week that you go, it could be anything like it doesn't have to be 